Today we are working on extracting caffeine from instant coffee. Let's get started with weighing some instant coffee, about 2.5 grams. Tear a beaker and weigh about 2.5 grams of instant coffee. We would add about 1 gram of sodium carbonate to this instant coffee. And add 20 ml of di water use a glass stirring rod to mix it transfer the coffee solution into three to four centrifuge tube fill about halfway through so we can leave some room for dichloromethane or dcm Here I have around 10 milliliters of DCM. I'm going to fill these centrifuge tube to about 80% with DCM. Put the test tube in the centrifuge so it's balanced and centrifuge for about two to three minutes. Once done, the centrifuge tubes will have two layers, the bottom layer with the DCM and caffeine, and the top layer is the aqueous layer. Using a long tip glass pipette, transfer the bottom layer of each of these centrifuge tubes into a Arnmar flask. Once you have collected all the bottom layer, add about 1 gram of sodium sulfate which is the drying agent and let it stand for 3 to 4 minutes. Now use a clean dry pipette to transfer just the DCM layer, not the sodium sulfate, into a on mat flask with a side arm. Put the unmarked flask on a hot plate at around 80 to 85 degrees Celsius and blow it on top to dry it completely. Tear a beaker and weigh the empty dry test tube with rubber grommets. For sublimation, we need two vacuum tubes. One goes to the gas and connects to the Bunsen burner. The other one goes to the vacuum and connects to the side arm of the Onmar flask. For a successful sublimation, this should be the order. First, you got to turn on the vacuum, add ice cold water in the test tube, and then start heating the bottom of the Ornat flask on the Bunsen burner. At a low pressure and high temperature, Caffeine goes from solid to gaseous state and then condenses on the cold test tube, which is sublimation. Once sublimation is done, turn off the vacuum and remove the tube gently and take out the test tube. And you see this caffeine on the test tube. Carefully discard the ice cold water 
from the test tube, rinse the inside of the test tube with some acetone and then blow some air to dry the test tube. Now tear a beaker, flip the test tube onto the beaker with the rubber grommets and caffeine to weigh it out. Scrape some caffeine into a watch glass and record a melting point. Once done, rinse the caffeine into the waste bottle with some acetone and using the data, find the percent recovery of caffeine. Thank you.